Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Chaos Lord David. Welcome back to our let's play of Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex. We're going to start off this part by getting Platinum Relics 21 through 25, starting with level 21, Crash and Burn. Crash and Burn's Platinum Relic time is a minute and 15 seconds. This one can be pretty tricky, because, uh, uh, like I said, uh, as we got the uh, running level, we're going to have to uh, step ahead of the clock here and... Uh, Actually, we don't do it in this one. I mean, you could do it if you wanted to, but, uh, I mean, uh, it's just that I really didn't really need to, you know? <laughs> I mean, you can if you want to, but really, you don't need it for this level. Uh, maybe you don't have to do it for every other level now that I think about it, but, I mean, it helps. <laughs> but, like, otherwise, this level can be quite tricky, so you're definitely going to want to uh, double jump in Death Tornado Spin. A lot of these, you're gonna, you're definitely going to want to do that throughout these uh, Lava Pits instead of just uh, uh, taking the platforms. Because if you try to take the platforms or... Any other way, it could actually could kind of slow your slow down your time quite a bit, and you can actually just ignore these birds. I mean, because it takes a while for them to actually land uh, on the ground for them to do a shockwave. I mean, normally I'd actually jump, uh, try to jump uh, uh, to avoid the birds, because that because that shockwave can be quite big. And I almost died right there. I was so lucky on that. I mean, I mean, I think if you have Aku Aku, you can. Yeah, if, if you do have Aku Aku, then you'll probably die if you go through that lava pit, no matter what. So, I was actually really close to dying right there. But like I said, this level, it actually help, it really helps to have uh, invincibility for this level. So, if you if you can, you're going to have to try to avoid that boulder by getting onto the far edge. Because if you get a, uh, right underneath the uh, other ledge that you got to uh, jump, up, jump up to, then that boulder is just going to run right down on and crush you. So... <laughs> That's the way to avoid uh, losing Aku Aku, so you can actually get them like this. And uh, I do kind of screw. I did screw up right here. That's why I actually was. Pr it was actually pretty close in this run. So I mean, I really. I mean, you can probably improve on this time if I if done like this. You could probably definitely improve on it. But hey, <laughs> a platinum relic's a platinum relic. That's what I always say. But otherwise, uh, this one just just a little tricky. Next is level 22, Gold Rush. Gold Rush's Platinum Relic time is 1 minute and 35 seconds. Once again, now we're going to do the uh, bazooka to the time clock trick. Uh, but overall, this level uh, can be tricky, but uh, you're definitely going to want to have Aku Aku for this level. You are definitely going to want to use Aku Aku to its advantage, uh, starting with the invincibility throughout this part. I mean, of course, it always helps as it makes you go slightly faster. And, of course, you don't have to worry about losing speed by spinning into the crates or jumping onto them. That always helps. But, uh, otherwise, if you do it just like this, then uh, it should be not too bad for you. Because uh, if you don't have Aku Aku with you, uh, most of the level can, it can be almost... Uh, the run can almost be as tight as a nun's vagina. So, <laughs> uh, but really, it was... Um, uh, but, uh, the trick to this level is, uh, gonna be a little bit, uh, really late in the level. I probably should just, <laughs> kind of just, uh, skip to the main point. Cause, like, I, cause, uh, this is the uh, longest level in the game. <laughs> but really, uh, like I said, this level really isn't too difficult, uh, this first part. Mainly the first part can be a bit difficult, uh, at times. But actually, miraculously, I actually done this, did this on my first try. So, really, it wasn't too bad at all but uh uh to be able to get onto that uh monkey bars you just do the slide jump and uh for this uh mine cart uh well uh push cart <laughs> uh it's not like that stupid mine cart i've always hated <laughs> uh just just sma just spam that x button you don't have to worry about uh pressing the square button to uh, get some of the uh, crates that are in the air and that stupid pull uh uh got in my way so i was a little bit stuck there so could have it kind of lost a little bit of time but really it's okay and for that you can just uh you don't even have to worry about going across the monkey bars you can just uh uh that tornado spin and just do a tiny jump and you can just uh, get across it uh but that monkey parts are early uh, that monkey bar part earlier you can just do a slide jump so you can have enough uh, uh hang time to be able to reach it and uh, not not be like, oh, this is gonna be so close. I'm gonna accidentally press the X button and jump into jump to, and fall to my death. You know, at least you'll have enough ang time to 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 secure the monkey bars. 
And uh, you'll get a little bit of uh, invincibility right there. And I did mess up because I uh, uh, missed the uh, time crates right there. You could just slide under that one. And uh, you can uh, use the advantage of uh, getting hit by uh, an enemy. If you have Aku Aku, you can take advantage of that. Uh, except I really didn't take that much advantage of it because I'm uh, still stuck on this. Uh, uh, I did uh, screw up right there because I, uh, I was uh, too busy trying to get all the other crates except I was... Uh, having a bit of a problem doing it and uh but uh if you add aku aku and if you didn't uh do it like that then you'll uh you could definitely take advantage of that a lot quicker and i was actually kind of lucky getting the getting that cr those crates without touching those uh nitros and you can just cut across the uh, uh gaps like that so you can just uh, run right to the finish but i could like i said i could have improved on the uh getting hit by the enemies and going across the pit part but oh well Next up is level 23, Medieval Madness! Medieval Madness's Platinum Relic time is 1 minute. This one can be quite tricky also. It's mainly all about uh, uh, level uh, level memory engraved into your head. Kind of like the other Atlasphere levels, uh, Bamboozled and uh, Eskimo Roll. You just gotta know where everything is, where the uh, time crates are, and knowing how to get across everything in the uh, in a very decent way. And uh, you're gonna want to go through uh, the uh, take this path across the uh, little clap lamps. <laughs> they, I mean, but really, I just can't help but think they really do look like those uh, lamps. If you make like a clapping noise, it would just go all go off, you know? That's because it's exactly what they look like. And uh, you can uh, get through that timed uh, not very. Uh, it's not very bad to get through that part. You just better hope that you don't get uh, sideswiped by those uh, uh, rolling wheels that come down at you. And you don't want to uh, take the bottom section because the uh, or the other other section that was in that fork, because there are no time crates in that fork. Uh, mainly, there are a lot of uh, uh, parts where they're just nitro crates like that. There are some time crates down there, but really you don't need them. And this part can be a bit bothersome sometimes. You just gotta try to get a good good uh, timing to uh, get across the. Uh, these platforms because if you don't get a very good timing you can really kill a lot of seconds now that I probably could have done a lot better because you can actually get across that uh, if you get enough speed you can get across that by getting onto the platform without having to take this platform to come up here to get these four time crates and that air really did, did kill quite a bit of seconds so I mean uh, if you just get enough speed from a uh, uh, from that top section while going into the uh, seesaw platforms if you get enough speed, you'll be able to get across to that platform without having to take the uh, elevator to get up to those four time crates. So you can actually, if I were to actually do that part, it will save uh, quite a bit of seconds, especially not that uh, hang time, that, that massive hang time right here as soon as I got off of it. This part, you just got to uh, follow the same route as you would go to the end of the level and uh, just avoid all the enemies. And you don't even have to take that long, that long, that other way because that other way will just kill a bit of seconds. So you just... Go straight across it, and be careful not to go too fast, because otherwise you'll just get off the bridge and die. So you have to do it all over again. <laughs> Trust me, I did it in the previous attempt, in the uh, pre attempt I uh, previous attempt uh, before this one. But otherwise, it really isn't too bad. Next is level 24. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire! Please excuse me for my bad singing. <laughs> But Crate Balls of Fire's Platinum Relic time is 1 minute and 40 seconds. This one I think is pretty tough. Uh, mainly uh, deals with ha having to uh, uh, get a good uh, get get good aim for this part. First, you're going to want to get way ahead of the time clock. Uh, it's right on this platform. Because if you were to jump onto the next platform, then the time clock would disappear. And you better have good aim to get those uh, time crates. Like I said right there, I did kind of screw up right there of getting that uh, time crate that was next to the nitro. And if you were to have Aku Aku for this part, it would... Actually, now that I think about it, I thought there was an enemy right there. Because most of the time on the monkey bars, there are enemies. But if you were to have... If there was an enemy, if you had Aku Aku, just do the same trick. Uh, you're going to use uh, qu that trick, uh, I believe, one time, I think. I mean, I probably could have just uh, started off uh, faster instead of just having to take the monkey bars at the start. But these platforms right here are going to be quite troublesome. Because... At least they're only in this, well, actually, they're in the mech part also, but really, you just got to be able to look out for them and try to time them uh, perfectly. I did kind of screw up right there by getting hit by the droid. 
of not jumping uh, later. <laughs> but this part, uh, you're definitely going to uh, want to uh, uh, get the uh, time crates yourself. Uh, excuse me on that. I had something in my throat. Uh, you're definitely going to want to break the uh, time crates yourself because the environment doesn't break them for... Uh, well, it breaks them, but it doesn't like count the uh, time for you. Now, that part I could have gotten through much sooner because uh, that stupid uh, enemy just walked off right in front of me. I didn't want to risk it of uh, falling into the pit. But uh, you just got to be able to uh, be ready to uh, get all the time crates and uh, just not let the environment, uh, not let the uh, uh, smoke uh, break them. Because like I said, it doesn't count if the environment uh, breaks them for you, like, in, like Tsunami or Avalanche. Or any of the other, other levels that involves environment uh, coming after you. But after this part, uh, that's where you got to kind of start being a little careful after this part. It's not it's not too difficult, but you just uh, you gotta be ready. You just gotta know where uh, uh, everything is and uh, know uh, where the platforms are, because we're gonna deal with a lot, uh, a couple more of those uh, uh, platforms that go to the side like this. But uh, miraculously, they didn't uh, spin to the side, so <laughs> didn't have to wait on them. So, but really, uh, if you could, if you kind of do it just like this, then you can uh, actually devastate the uh, time by at least a good 10 plus seconds, a good uh, 10 plus seconds, or even more. Uh, besides all these mishaps, I would have probably gotten maybe 20 seconds uh, of this time beaten. But uh, at least if you just do it like that, then uh, you're pretty much good to go. But otherwise, it can be quite tricky sometimes. And last but certainly not least, level 25, the Cortex Vortex. Cortex Vortex's Platinum Relic time is 58 seconds. Now this one, in my opinion, I think is one of the hardest Platinum Relics in, to get in the game. Uh, first off, you're going to want to, uh, of course, start uh, sh by shooting a bazooka at the uh, time clock. Uh, now for this level, you're definitely going to want to start off with... Uh, uh, two Aku Akus, as you see right, the gold Aku Akus you see right there. So you can pick up the invincibility and can kill quite a bit of time. And uh, going through these parts can be quite difficult because of these uh, little electric platforms. I was actually lucky enough to uh, be able to uh, run right under them. But though these uh, uh, platforms that arise up to the electricity uh, can be quite really, not quite, but really annoying. But <laughs> I mess up my wording there. But they can be really annoying most of the time. Uh, if you're not if you're if you're not careful if you jump a bit too high then you're gonna lose Aku Aku. You're you're definitely gonna want to keep a gold Aku Aku throughout the entire run, so you can uh, get the invincibility uh, whenever you can. And these bars that rise up, they can they can they can screw with you. They can screw around. They can screw around with you sometimes. I cannot talk. <laughs> they can screw around with you most of the time because. There was this one time I tried to uh, slide it. Uh, I think it was a few attempts before this one. I tried to slide under it, but uh, it really looked like uh, uh, I was actually not going to get hit by it. Uh, kind of like as you saw right there as I was trying to run right under it. It really looked like I wasn't going to get hit by it, but I actually did. And uh, Except if you get to this part, which you'll get an uh, invincibility in the flash, but you can just run right through those uh, uh, nitro crates uh, earlier. But if you're at this time, if you don't uh, slow down for anything, then you'll basically be good to go because this one was actually kind of close i mean i can understand this one being actually one of the toughest platinum relics in the game but if you just do it just like that and not really waste too much time then you're good hey i know something that's better than 24 25 <laughs> i can never forget that spongebob moment but overall the i think these are the toughest set of levels to get the platinum relics on because these took a lot of attempts. <laughs> Believe me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this part of a Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot throughout the Cortex. And hopefully these Platinum Relics uh, runs uh, helped you out. And I will see you guys in the next part. I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.